What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we're talking about everybody's favorite storage solutions. Milwaukee pack out. Pack out. Why yeah, is everybody's, it's everybody's favorite, favorite storage solution? A lot of people definitely like them. Right. Personally, as of a week ago, I didn't have I own one piece of pack out. Now I own a thousand dollars worth of pack out. It's expensive, man. Yeah, Isn't it? It's it adds up quickly. Dude. It's so I've got pack out too. I've got a total setup too. That's weird that the light keeps going on and off. It's Manny put it in. Yeah. But I told him, <laughs> it happened the day it happened. Yeah. And I told him he needed to believe me because he wouldn't do yeah. it again. He's like, no, triggers. you're messing with me. But um, how do you like your pack out? What do you use it for? I use it for, like, obviously tools and stuff like that. I also use it for fasteners. Um, I've got one set up for my hand tools. So that's the one thing I like about it is versatility is you can set them up any way you want to. So I've got the cart on the bottom. Um, I use it for even when I was doing my house, I was bringing stuff into the house or when I go over to buddy's house and honestly just storage. Right. You know, so. Yeah, me too. I mean, basically I have tools all over the place. I mean, I have 10 of each tool and every time I need a tool, I can never find it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to invest in pack out and create this huge system where, you know, I just have all my tools. So I just grab a pack out and go. Right. Yes. So, so far I'm liking it. It's pretty cool. There's a couple of issues that I want to talk about. The price is one thing. Definitely. It's pricey, right? It's now, definitely pricey. The lower end stuff's not too bad. Like, I think that this right here is the cheapest piece of pack you can get. And that's $24. Okay. Personally. I like these thin ones, man. Because, again, that's where I use my fasteners or my little things, you know, bits, whatever. Yeah, and personally, I like these little ones, right? Mm -hmm. I think they're made by Keter. They are well, made by... made in Israel. Well, that's Keter. Keter's Israel. Oh, it is? So, yeah. made in Illinois. What, Keter? Yeah. No, Keter's an actually... They're the biggest, I think... Think the biggest plastic manufacturing out there, and what's great about them is they have a huge line of uh, different plastics they do. But they know how to make plastics, but they also know how to reinforce it. So we had a deck box one time they reinforced the right way; it lasts a long time. And it's the same yeah. thing with this. Keter's good know? stuff. So Milwaukee did the right thing. They did some cool uh, ways that they connect. That's the coolest thing about pack out is just the way it connects. You just yeah. put it on, and boom. Now, if you have a bunch connected, it is a pain to kind of carry them around. I've been noticing. If you're carrying them, yes, but if you have the dolly system or the cart system, it's a lot I easier. have that too, but one thing I thought is the cart system that I have. Now, it's been empty, and I have it stacked up to probably here. Yeah. Dude, even with just the empty pack outs, that cart system was like kind of only here. I try to stack them up at least. Well, oh, no. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? I mean, right away, I'm not too happy with just the way that whole handle system is. There's a lot of flex going yeah, on Yeah, I in wish there. it was either the base was a little bit wider or if it was, you're right about that. You know? Right. It's, once you get weight out there, and granted, obviously, like anything else, you and it has weight on the bottom. You know? No, yeah. I don't think it's going to break or anything. It's just sometimes. But you can put way on the top. I mean, you can put one of their roll. radios on the top. Their radio weighs oh, like a hundred pounds. I mean, that's a heavy it radio. It doesn't always roll as nicely as you think it would. Right. Um. So yeah, you guys, the entry level pack out, twenty four dollars, not too bad. This box up here on the top is thirty dollars, not too bad. Then you start getting into these different pricing tiers. I think like this one's like seventy nine dollars. This one's like sixty nine or fifty nine. You know, so you're getting pricier, right? When mm -hmm. you start thinking in your head, I mean, I spent a thousand dollars on this stuff. I could have got a full metal toolbox from like Costco oh, yeah. or even Milwaukee. I think the Milwaukee ones at Home Depot. Yeah, exactly. You know, you so let me ask you a question: How long have you owned them for? A week. Oh, okay. So I'll be interested to see what you see after a long time. Now, the one thing, I have had the corner on mine bust where I dropped it. Yeah, I actually had one a long so, time ago that did that too. That busted. That was That upsetting. was the thing that's frustrating like when it's that expensive and it breaks like that. What's the warranty on pack out? I would imagine five years. Five like, years. Right? So, but yeah. that's, that's just a total guess. Yeah. I'm just, you know. So you could, you know, I mean, even this bringing it this might only be It might be one of those things that are 90 days though, you know? Yeah. Because it's not know. a power tool, so. Who knows? I don't know. Milwaukee's got that long warranty. You kind of need it, you know? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, yep. not that Milwaukee's a bad brand whatsoever, dude. I, if, look at me. I just spent $1,000 investing into Milwaukee, right? Limited a, lifetime warranty. Okay, which, limited. So that's who knows good. With that. yeah, well, who that knows means you means. go back to Home Depot with a broken one and they'll swap it out for no, you. No, but they might be. Sometimes it's only for manufacturing defects. You know what I mean? It's not if you drop it or something like that. Yeah, but I mean, if you dropped it on the corner and the end popped off, I mean, that was a manufacturing defect because otherwise they're I supposed would to think be so. tough. You know, that's yeah. how, that's the way I look at it. Uh, so we have this new little toolbox here that I bought. This one I'm calling General Tools, and I just put my General Tools in. So basically, if I have wait, you, know, you call it General Tools, and you put your General Tools. In. I put my See, general, I like the yeah. thing. I like where you're going with that. I know? like this one too because you can pull it at the top here. You know. Yeah. Like this one, I can't remember how much this one was, but like 40, 50 bucks, whatever. Yeah. Not too bad. But dude, now we're getting, when I'm searching even more, 
when you get ripped off by pack out is when you start getting the accessories, right? Yeah, I came the ones across, that have stuff in there. Yes. yes, okay. I came across two pack outs, and I think that one was just, I mean, appallingly expensive. I mean, just Is crazy that the one with their hand money. tools in there? No, or that one's it? expensive, but this is the one with the bit, the shockwave bits in it. So basically, oh, okay. this is $24, right? I was yeah. at Home Depot the other day. You can get an awesome shockwave kit for $40. And I think that's like the 100 piece set. That's like the yeah, big one. Yeah, that was like the 100 nice piece yeah. set. So that's $75, if my math is correct, 80 with tax, right? Or you could get the Milwaukee one that comes with, I don't even know how many pieces it's right here, hold on. The Milwaukee one that comes, did you change it on me? No, I just scrolled down. 100 piece. What did you say? How many pieces? I think like 100 piece, yeah. Okay, so, or you can get it 100 piece this with 100 piece shockwaves in it for $99. That is, the, that's sick. That's like a, such a rip off to me. Well, I think I mean, you're trying that, to go after people. That who aren't. honestly made me not want to get pack out seeing that because it was such a rip off. And not only that, you think, oh, I'm getting a hundred piece kit with this pack out, so I'm gonna open this pack out. It's gonna be all nice things. And no, it's just a regular pack out with these little t drawers. Yeah. Or not drawers. What do you call these? Uh, bins. Yeah. And also, this is a hundred piece. And you just throw them in the bins. Why can't you just go spend twenty four dollars on this and then go buy another brand? Another, you know. I mean, I think Shockwave is a good brand, except those one Shockwaves mm -hmm. we had that one time. It just snapped yeah. instantly. Well, I think maybe too. They're trying to do stuff like that, like where you see it. They're trying to maybe like, hey, I think you got to shop around. You got to look look at it because, like you said, a hundred dollars is supposed if you go out and buy it yourself. I think they're banking on people aren't going to shop around. You right. Know what I mean? Well, I because mean, in this day and age, people shop around. I think it's the same thing too. They have one kit that has. All those sockets in there, it's three hundred dollars. Dude, that's expensive. That's expensive for I mean they're I like tools. that kit too. I was actually gonna buy it. I mean, even one ninety nine is a lot for that kit, but everybody told me that it goes on sale for one ninety nine. So um I don't know. Oh yeah, look you can't Yeah, so that's what I was saying before. Because you have to leave them in this. Yeah, position. the drawers have to stay in a certain position, otherwise it won't close, you know? Yeah, so the middle one's gotta be the long one, so unfortunately if you want that up here and this back there, you can't do it. Yeah, and honestly dude, Milwaukee hand tools, that kit for three hundred dollars, that's crazy too. Because I can go out and buy this little pack out here on the bottom, the one on the bottom, for I don't even know how much it is. Let's say it's forty bucks, right? And I can go out and get some really nice wrenches, some gear wrenches, some, you know, snap on, some um, Mac, call. I mean Mac. I can get nice rates and be at the same price. Milwaukee. Yeah. I mean, you know. I mean, I understand Milwaukee's trying to dominate everything, and you know they're like the you know out of all the companies we've ever dealt with, they really think that they are like the best. I mean, they're like on class. I think every company thinks they're the best. Yeah, I've never. But dealt my with thing too like is like that, even though. with the hand tools too. Like I'd want something good. And I just like the client or the Southwire the best. You know what I mean? Yeah, Those are my dude, two Southwire. Problems. They got Southwire in here, yeah. man. Yeah, yeah. The, the American made cutters. Yeah. You know, that's what I like. I like putting it in, but we're talking sockets. Southwire doesn't make sockets or Klein. No, that's Actually, Klein saying, yeah. does. They just started making sockets, you know? But I mean, as far as like, you know, I mean, I don't know, man. I just think that it's crazy money for that. I think that some of the pack out stuff is worth it. I like the little containers. I think it's better than like the tea stack or the tough box, only in being the way it connects, right? That's yes, where they got you, the way it connects. Now, talking about the way it connects, that's also a huge downfall. I was talking with James, and uh, he's our buddy out in California. He's a contractor. He works out in the field. He's got all this big, he's like Stanley Dirt Monkey, but with no subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I'm like, dude, I just got pack out, man. He's like, oh, I had pack out. I hated that. I got rid of it. I'm like, how do you hate your pack out? Why'd you get rid of it? And he says, when he's on the job site and he takes them out and he puts them in the dirt, that they would start getting dirt up in here and clogged up. And then they would start like not fitting or fit and be stuck. And he just said, I couldn't deal with it, man. So I just got rid of them. Yeah. So I could see that scenario happening. I'm not saying that scenario is going to happen. I'm still happy with the purchase here. Uh, I just wanted to roll out on your guys' radar. You know, just watch out because some of this stuff is a crazy, insane ripoff, you know, just because it says Milwaukee, right? I mean, Milwaukee is like a marketing company, right? That's what they do. They That's market, they are, right? Marketing I mean, companies. half the people don't even know. We did a poll. Half of you guys don't even know that it's owned by China. Yeah. Did you know that? TTI owns Milwaukee. It's a Chinese company. Profits, everything go back to China. They have a, uh, you know, a place in Milwaukee. Yeah, they where do. they, uh, th that's like their headquarters, their American headquarters. Um, you know, am I saying that in a bad way? No, that's not bad at all. There's a lot of Chinese companies that are good. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, but, but I, for me, I'd still rather support America over there, anyone else. Well, but when you don't for have me, choice, I'm going to support who has the better product. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I always try to too, but if I can do America first, America's gonna come first. I just that's just my own. Well, no, philosophy. we all want to support America, you but know. sometimes you know, 
American companies, they'll get their stuff made in China, and it's worse than the Chinese companies that make their stuff in China. Yeah, Granted, yeah. this was made in Israel, you know what yeah. I'm saying? No, and this too, like, I just like, what I like about Pack Out is the amount of, the variety they have. Because, like, I think the best bargain you can get out there is the rigid ones, which I think that's TT. TT, yeah. yeah. But I like the rigid ones, but the problem is they only have, like, four or five boxes. Right. But everybody talks about you know? those rigid ones, the over Pack Out. They're yeah. saying, I'll get those, I'll get those, the same thing. Yeah. Um, you know, because, like I said, Pack Out's more for the people that are bleed red, right? You bleed Milwaukee. Milwaukee's awesome. Milwaukee's mm -hmm. this and that. And again, Milwaukee's not the worst company out there. I mean, it's not the best company out there, but they are good, right? Yep, they're um, yep. they're one of the ones to beat in in everything, right? In this, I mean, I don't know about hand tools, dude. I just I no, can't get on board with the hand tool thing. I've tried them; they suck. They rust. I just I've talked to electricians. There's a lot of people. Have, yeah, yeah, we give the electricians those things, and they're like, dude, how do those things work? Dude, they suck. Yeah. You know, so I don't understand paying twice as much for a hand tool just because it says Milwaukee. I mean, granted, I haven't checked out their sockets yet, but, you know, they have some interesting ideas on them. They don't roll, stuff like that. And I'll show you it, because actually, the electrician's coming back to my house in about a month, and he was the one who was showing me the one uh, hand tools that are all rusted out and went busted. And I'll, hopefully he has them. I'll put them on Instagram. And I'll show oh, it to you. Oh, the, the Milwaukee's? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we so got to see those. That. Yeah, we'll post them. Follow us on our Instagram, you guys. That's where we show stuff like this. And, uh, you know. And again, that's just our opinion. I know there's people who do like the hand tools. We're just, we're nah, trying to just I've give never you met the, one person that said they like the hand Well, unless I, they work for Milwaukee. I haven't either, but I'm just saying there's got to be somebody out there because they still yeah, make them. You know they what did, I mean? I, but like you said, though, the people who bleed red. Yeah. You know? When they first get them, they're like, yeah, you know. And then you always hear something, you know, like mm -hmm. it broke or, you know, rusting. I hear about rusting yes. all the time. And, the, you know, I don't know. Hand tools are weird, right? There's there's hand tool companies out there that are just awesome, but and then I was gonna fill this all up with uh, another complaint that I have about uh, Pack Out is their light charger thing. You know the light that goes on here and the charger. Yes, yes. Yeah. Why yes. doesn't it charge 12 volts? I mean that's what I need. I need an M12 one because I put little stuff. So what I did instead of putting all my M12 stuff in here, I put my Dewalt's in there. If I'm gonna have to put a charger in anyways, yeah. I like the I like the Dewalt better. The, you're talking about the drill and the impact? Yeah, the yeah, little 12 volts. Nice. I nice. do like them better. Granite, Milwaukee has way more. They do, but I'm just saying, if you're going from drill to impact, you know what I mean? The the the, the Yeah, like core, I get my installation tool, my Milwaukee installation tool. I like that. Oh, yes, that's a Except nice for the, the reverse. That's a pain in the butt. Why? What do you mean? What is that? Um, I, it's got I a switch on the top. Oh, is it? Yeah, really? so the reverse it's like, it's like a drill, but you have a switch on the top. And at first I was like, oh, this oh, is kind of cool. Oh, that's right, yes. But dude, yep. it's such a pain in the butt when you're when you're driving and all of a sudden you got to stop and reverse. Yeah. Because you literally can't do it with your thumb. You literally have to push a button on the tool. Yeah, I do like their M12. It's got to be the third gen. I don't know what it is. But their drill, the 12 volt one, I do like that one. Yeah. And the M12, no, dude, Milwaukee nice, makes... Never gonna bash your power tools, dude. They make good power tools. You know, are all their power tools great? No. And usually, no, I mean, typical is. Milwaukee, you know, they'll put something out for the first time. It'll suck. Everybody buys it. We'll guess the one issue it. I do have with the Milwaukee. Yeah, they the tend to come out pretty quickly. Yeah. They've done it with their tape measures. They've done it with their drills. They've done it with their grinder. They did it with their sawzall. The, well, I mean, sawzall. What did they do with the sawzall? The first one that came out wasn't that good. Dude, that was like 50 years I'm ago. I'm talking about the cordless ones. Really? When oh, well, I know, B28. One, that would, no, I'm not talking about after B28. Really? That one would bind up. That one would stop. Really? Yes. Hmm. That's interesting. Because now I feel like they really... They dominate that field now. Now they, you know, the new one, the Super Saza, I don't even know of a cordless, a corded one that will actually beat that one. That's an awesome saw. That's a great and one. And then with the whole hog, that's pretty good. Whole hog's awesome. I mean, DeWalt's got their stuff. I don't think DeWalt can... You know what, who comes close to Milwaukee on uh, Resip is Hitachi Metabo HBT. Metabo we use that yeah. one all the time. The Metabo HBT really comes close to Milwaukee. Might even spank it. I don't the know. The Makita one is nice also. I like that one. Unfortunately, Bosch doesn't really have... I have I don't, I'm not a huge fan of Bosch ones. Because when it comes to professional power tools, I like Bosch and Healthy. Right. Those are my I don't core. think Bosch... Dude, I never hear anything from Bosch anymore. I never see new tools. Dude, I, I feel like any. Bosch and DeWalt have just been sleeping at the wheel, man. Well, they're still around. Well, they're still around, but I don't see them coming out and creating excitement. I don't see them coming out with new tools. I don't see a lot of that stuff going on. Yeah, that's what you know? Milwaukee does, though. 
I'm buying my tools. Why? Because I'm a consumer. I want to be able to freely talk about this. And if I like it, great. If I don't, oh well. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's why. That's the way we're trying to go, you guys. We just want to be honest with you guys. We've been seeing it a lot lately. Just everybody gets these new tools. And like, oh, it's the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh my God, I used it for 10 minutes and it was just, oh, it rocks my world. Bread really the last best thing that we've come up with as a society? I don't know, Eric. I you know what I mean? Know. There's got to be toast. There's got to be toast. Bread. See, there you go. Now it comes up Sli in that. Sliced bread Slice with laser. Lasers. Toast, yes. Sliced bread with lasers. Yes. Yeah, I would rather just buy this stuff and uh, just, you know, if I'm going to buy it, that means I wanted it, right? Yeah. And like it because... I, I do like these small I days. just feel more better with talking about this stuff with you guys rather than having this big, you know, brother over me like, oh, you better talk good about that or, you know, we're never sending you anything again or, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't need that crap, man. Forget it. Mm -hmm. I'm a consumer. I bought these. I actually like them. Yeah, you know what I like? I like the metal latches right here. Yeah, I wish there was another place better to put labels on the front. Like, see the labels here? Like, I had to put general tools here. Right, what's wrong with that? Like, put it right on the handle. Well, that one was okay, but some of them, I mean, it's hard to put the labels on. Yeah, I mean, I guess I could see, yeah. You'd have to... Yeah, you know what that is? Like, right there, why wouldn't they do it? That's where, like, the T-Stack does, you know, right yeah, there. It's nice. Something where you could be able to see it and just look at it, like, okay, it's this, this. And especially because... I mean, I guess if you have a van, you know, like, hey, this is where this is going, and, you know, they've got really nice setups, so I guess you kind of know where stuff is, but if you're on the job and stuff has moved around, you're like, okay, which one had this, you know, yeah. whatever in there. I just bought the new Milwaukee. Man, I spent, like, two grand on Milwaukee lately, so I'm a consumer. I'm a, I guess I'm a Milwaukee consumer, you think? Bleeding red, bro. I am bleeding red a little bit. It's crazy, you know? We all got a little red in us. No, know? but, dude, they build good stuff, you know? I mean, what are you going to say? Not all of it's good, but you know, that's with every company. But for what they do, I, I like it. I just love the way that slides in. Until I get that problem that James had when they start not sliding in, I'm gonna be kind of upset. Yeah, you know what, when you told me that, that's interesting because I haven't heard of that one, but now it makes sense. Because if you're putting them on wet dirt, yeah. you know, stuff like that, then all of a sudden the stuff gets in here, and I get it, there's gonna be little rocks in there and it's more of a pain in the ass. Pain, pain in the butt, you know what I mean? Yeah, but. so you're gonna spend like hours cleaning your pack out out. For me, I'm not gonna be in the dirt, so it's perfect for me. Yeah. You know? I do like how they go together. Though. I know, did you know like, you could put a long one off to the side? You know what I'm talking about? No. Like, check this out, put that one up there. And you put this one. Oh, so you could actually you can build design like a, a building, dude. You, like put this one over here and just have different, you know, yeah. workways and that's pretty yeah. cool. Isn't I that like crazy? that. I mean, not that, I don't know. I mean, now you got a work surface, right? I don't know why you would do it like that. Why right? not? Why wouldn't you not want a work surface? Yeah. That's what they should make. You know? A work surface? I don't know. Yeah, but you guys, uh, we did, we'll do some B-roll on this stuff. This is all the pack out I bought. I actually got it at Home Depot. You can get it other places. I believe Ace Hardware has it. Um, who else has it? Uh, it's weird. Yeah, Acme, it is Ace Hardware. CPO. I don't know. Ace Hardware has it. Yeah, you know, unfortunately, CPO. I wish you could get it on Amazon. Really you can, you but can. it's expensive. Dude, you, no, I'm, yeah. forget Amazon, man. We're not recommending Amazon anymore. Oh, you know, I like Amazon. I love Amazon. I don't anymore. I love it. You know why? Because everybody and their mom sells on there, dude. And you don't know where you're getting it from. So someone will go, go buy this on sale and then put it on Amazon. They'll go buy 10 of these on sale, clearance, maybe in a dumpster. Maybe it was returned. And then they'll put them on Amazon as new. Screw that. Dude. Are you saying from Milwaukee or anything? Anything. Well, you don't shop Amazon anymore, huh? I'm trying not to. Well, where where did just, you go? Where I'm are you going to go? I'm trying not to shop. No, I know, but where would you go? Are you just not shopping? I'm trying not to. No, it's certain, let's be back to real. I'm trying I know, to buy I know your house. shopping issues, so where are you no, going to go? No, I'm trying to buy another house. You know? I mean, granted, I say that. And oh, like, he's going to call me tonight like, hey, I bought this, this, and this. Literally, dude, two weeks ago, I was credit card debt free. Yeah. Dude, I just checked. I'm at 10 grand. Oh, man. Dude, I spent $5,000 on that winglet. Yeah, but that's cool, I, though. That's yeah, something that's I bought cool. a drone for 1200 I bought... Um, what else? I don't even know stuff I bought. Stuff. I bought, yeah, I bought this all this pack out. That was a thousand. I bought um, a tuner for my truck, clutches for the rocks, or all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, at least you're not spending too much, so that's good. Dude, I'm trying not to. I'm gonna pay it off though. I'm actually gonna sell some jeans. So I'm gonna pay it off. Yeah. But that was kind of stuff that I had to get. You only live once, right? But I didn't spend any of it on Amazon. See, I love Amazon. Dude, I'm so done with Amazon. What do you guys think? Comment below. Would you guys rather buy Amazon? I like buying from Home Depot personally, except online. 
Didn't you just, yeah, I was gonna say, you just told me like last week no. like how much you hate Dude, again, again, I got screwed online. Yes. Yeah, because I, I bought two of these, right? And I go check out, everything's good. It's like, okay, bro, I get an email. I had to go to two different stores to pick it up. I thought it was getting shipped to me. Yeah, that's right. And I'm like, are you kidding me? So then I had to spend a whole morning driving around these two stores. Yeah. Not that it was See, bad. I would cancel. The pickup, eh, the pickup experience was nice. I needed them right there and then. Oh. As you can see, they're empty. Yeah, exactly. So I did need them. But you guys, we're just consumers just like you, and we want to keep it more real, you know? I mean, uh, Tools in Action, you know, we have a long history with Milwaukee. You know, we started out in the early days promoting them, helping them out, you know, showing all their cool stuff. And, you know, remember we did, we blew up a Makita drill for that. Makita still to this day hates us because of that. No, no, we talked to Makita. Yeah, but I feel you like know. they hate us because of that. But you know what, dude? We're just sick of being controlled man just sick of being controlled we'd rather work with companies that are just cool with us and hey talk freely about our products right not that you know milwaukee's not letting us talk freely but with them you can't it's kind of known you have to just you know if we're gonna send you a tool you better talk nice about it blah 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 dude that's not good for you guys that's i like not that good for voice anybody. that's a good voice too it is yeah well it's not good for anybody right it's what's good for you is hey i'm a consumer i bought this this is how i like it Leave it at that, right? Right. I agree. And I'll probably spend thousands more this year on Milwaukee tools. I mean, I don't know what I what I want. Like I really, I'm sure you'll think I really want to look into that uh, ratchet set, but man, not for three three ninety nine. <laughs> Two minutes ago, you're talking about you're not spending any more money. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. All right, you guys. What do you guys think about Milwaukee? What do you think about the packout? What do you think about the biggest ripoff in packout, which was that? Uh, one we talked about. Yeah. Um, but I love it, man. I'm gonna go home and uh, play with my pack out. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Peace.